Okay, I love her. It's all right, baby. I know you don't feel good. It probably hurts so bad, doesn't it? You've never felt such pain, Daddy. And I know. You're right. I have it. What you women do. And what you What are you doing? You don't... You never felt such pain either. He goes, I have inner pain. I have a lot of inner pain. No, you don't have any inner pain. You don't know. You don't know what pain and suffering is, boy. You just need to back away. But Tilly, along with all of you moms out there, are just amazing to know what excruciating pain giving birth to a child is. Yet, also knowing, uh-oh, you okay? Also knowing what true love feels like and your desire to have that, you know, in your children. I don't think most women think twice about the pain because they want them babies so bad. And we admire that, ladies. We probably don't tell you enough how much we admire that. You, you are your, every one of you are warriors. Hey folks, Lester here. And uh, welcome to the second really sloppy day. Two days in a row. It's not as cold today, but boy, it is just sloppy, slushy, just, just downright nasty day. There is a break in the rain for now, and our goats are heading off to the pasture. We're gonna walk over and check on those that we have in our nursery. Well, that's not good. These goats heard my voice, and they think, hey, if we can look, look sad enough, Dad might give us an early treat. I'm not gonna feed y'all. I will. I will darn sure go in there and get, okay, it's not my voice. Look, look at the pond. It's raining. It started over there and it's coming this way. The goats are filling those raindrops before I am. So they're not coming for snacks. They're coming for shelter. Looks like we have kind of a mean girls thing going here. We got the two ladies here walking the fence line talking. And look, poor Wanda over there by herself. No one to talk to. Ladies, y'all know that is a real thing. It's true. You hit two's company. Three's a crowd. So this is Carl's pasture. I don't see Carl. I hope he's behind his loafing shed and he never comes around this way. Carl's not in the best of moods lately. There's Carl. All right, everything's good. This is who I came to see over here. Lord, you're not being mean today. No, he's just, he's just curious. He's not mean, he's just curious. Hi, Ringy. Hi, buddy. Look out. Tat. Tilly, you in labor, sweetie? You don't have to get up. Don't get up. It's okay. <laughs> well, I guess that answers my question. Tails are down, though. Tails are down on both of our sweet girls. Uh, of course, Sissy's just kind of standing here. Tilly was laying down, looking over her shoulder kind of funny. You okay, sweetie? What's going on with you? Anything good? Can I have a peek? Can daddy have a peek? You say no, not on camera. She goes, I don't do that camera thing. I'm not one of those kind of girls. I am not one of them kind of. I'll just stop. He's not being mean, but he wants me out of this pasture, I feel. I'm leaving. He's gonna escort me to the gate. Oh no. So Tilly has returned to her exact same spot. Also in that same position. So she actually may be going through labor right now or about to start labor. So Ringo and Sissy were both standing by the gate wanting to go out and so i'm not going to force you know them to stay in if they want to go out and do a little foraging that's completely fine and then i will uh, make sure to call them back in towards the evening uh, if we are lucky though we may be able to have us uh tilly may have her baby before the end of the day i'll keep an eye on her 
Sir, thank you for allowing me to trespass to check on the babies. We love you. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Come on. Oh. Sweetie, you mind if I come through there? There's always one in every group. Y'all do know that, right? You know, okay. Oh boy, she don't think that she likes to be referred to as that, as that, that kind of girl. She don't want to be that kind of girl. She just can't help it, y'all. She doesn't want to be that girl. She just cannot seem to help it. Uh, Debbie, I need to come through there. Sir, if you don't mind, I need to come right there where Debbie's standing. Debbie, don't not drop it like Debbie. Tina, thank you for not being like that. Like that. The heck? All right, where were we? Sweetie. <laughs> Do you mind, girlfriend? I... Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, we're about to head over to the J and L Ranch. Check on the cows over there. Y'all want to join us? I've already fed those girls, so don't let that fool you into thinking that I'm a horrible, horrible man. Looks like I'm going to have some company today. If you remember, they did not go with me yesterday. Christmas went, but once we got there and she saw how rainy it was, she thought she'd just stay in the truck. And uh, I got Trixie. Christmas and of course Stella who all want to go bye-bye. Y'all want to go bye-bye? All right, let's go. Can y'all get in yourselves? Up, 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 up. There's one, there's two, and I got to help this one over here. All right, come on. See Tex? Look at Tex. Ruby, go. We have a major problem here. This little fella has run out on I me. Mean, no, sir, do not go in there. Do not go in there, sir. This is not good. Guys, I need a couple of minutes here. Well, little Gary forced my hand today, friends. It's a nasty, sloppy, just a miserable day. And little Gary has really forced my hand into doing something I didn't want to do, but uh, I guess I will. Uh, he's ran out on me. It's a long story. But uh, to make it short, I had fed the calves in there with him to get him some company. And when I came over to let the calves out back in here with the main herd, little Gary turned and ran. I wasn't videoing when it happened. I caught the very end of it. He actually was moving a lot faster than I thought he knew how to or than I thought he was able to. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and close this gate here so that the calves are stuck with little Gary. They have shelter, don't worry. They have water. I closed that gate right there, which means little Gary and friends cannot go anywhere in that pasture, which is not enclosed right now. You know, we have the fence down at the front. Uh, they're doing some new fencing pretty soon once this weather clears. And so we have the old fence taken down. So anyone with access to that pasture can go straight up to that highway. We do not want that. Um, there is one second gate down here that I'm gonna walk over and close now. I'm gonna go ahead and just drive down with the side-by-side. -side. It's gonna be wet there in the middle. I am wearing boots, but I don't wanna, the water there in that stream is going to come over my boots is what I'm saying.
Oh. Oh, did y'all see the puppy? Where did it go? There's a dog who was laying right there. I will stop and get these packages, but there's a puppy. I mean, a little fella. I don't know where it went. That's sad. That is a daily chore that someone has to do, and I feel so bad for this guy over here. <laughs> I do, I feel horrible for him. Let me help him. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.